Here we have 2006 Silverado 3500. We're about to install a Cognito leveling kit and we'll show you some of the details. Alright, the next step in the process here is to, well, obviously remove the front tire, get the car up on jack stands, but to get um, some support for that lower control arm. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the upper ball joint connection. Alright, here we're removing the 19 millimeter nut that holds the ball joint upper control arm assembly. You can see I just using a 19 millimeter box and wrench. I've lubed the nuts up pretty good with um, some liquid wrench, but not that tight. You can get them pretty easily. And this, like I said, this is a 2006 truck, so you know, and I drive a lot off road during hunting season and stuff. So you know, fair amount of grime and salt up under here. I live in the Northeast. Nothing's really frozen. We're on the passenger side here. I'm just getting some more close-up shots so you can see what it looks like. You don't want to remove this nut all the way. You want to leave it kind of on its last threads. And then you can break out your pickle fork to separate. So as you can see here, we separated the upper control arm from the lower control arm assembly. Um, Got a couple of jack stands in place just to keep all this stuff stable. You know, you still have your, your brake lines and such all connected here. Your anti-lock brake harness, your brake lines. Um, 19 millimeter bolt. I just use the regular box wrench on the end of the 19 millimeter bolt. The bottom of this um, upper control arm assembly. And uh, back it off. Make sure you have your jack stands in place. Uh, use a pickle fork, you know, in from the side with the hammer. Takes it right out. Very basic. We're just going to remove this uh, other brake fluid line and we'll get forward with um, swapping out this upper control arm for the Cognito unit. Alright, so we loosened up these uh, 21 millimeter bolts that hold the stock uh, for control arm, which is this unit here. And we loosen these up, you take them out, and there's little eccentrics here that you have to make sure you take out along with it and they go back. So let me just show you what that looks like. And that's, that's what the eccentric looks like basically. And they go back in there, you know, along with the stock hardware, these stock keys, and there's a little nipple on there that kind of fits and slides, you know, up and down here. Just it'll, it'll slide right on there, attach, and that's it. So we'll take out the other side, get this stock control arm out, and we'll get the cognito arm in. Now when you're pulling these um, bolts, these control arms out, you might want to just take your hammer and uh, just tap. And they come right out. And uh, that's the key, that's the eccentric from the other side. And I just like to kind of put everything back together when I put it on the floor, just so nothing gets lost. And just keep it like that. Drop it down on the floor, put it right back in the way it came out, and you're good to go. Alright, we got our Cognito arm in. Now we're going to get it bolted in to the spindle. Just have to move this guy, get it lined up. It's kind of heavy. We just get this right down in here. Then, this stuff is heavy on these trucks. It's not the easiest thing to do by yourself, but you can manage. Just get this castle nut started on here. Keep everything secure. Then we'll get the jack on here, lift this guy up, tighten it all up. Use these washers that they give you to give you enough space so that you can get that cotter pin and a new castle nut. And uh, the rest is wrap up work. Piece of cake. Alright, so we have the Cognito arm in there now. It's all installed and snug down up on the top. The last, uh, well, not the last step, but the next step is to just um, tighten down that upper ball joint, get the spacing right with some of the spare washers that they supply in the uh, kit. And once we do that, we'll get those brake lines um, cinched down and we'll get the front shock installed. 
All right, so we're just wrapping up our driver's side install of these Cognato leveling arms, upper control arms here for the leveling kit. And um, our Bilstein 5100s have gone in rather easily. Um, the whole installation was quite simple, actually. I'm just torquing down these top nuts here. Um, the only thing that was somewhat of a pain in the neck um, was just getting the control arms with these new bushings that they come with into the actual frame. I had to actually use a gasket scraper just to kind of bend, bend that um, rubber bushing a little bit in to get it started and then it uh, got in because it's a real snug fit. But other than that, um, real easy. comes with bracket hardware to mount up your brake line. You just wire tie off the anti-lock brake sensor over to this little hole on this side. Um, real basic. Put the Zerks in. Just have to grease up the Zerks. Throw the wheel back on and then we can get to uh, cranking up our keys to level out the front end for our 285-75s to go on here. Very basic install. I'd say um, if I wasn't screwing around with the camera, I probably would have had um, this driver's side done in probably about 40 minutes or so. Um, you know, not really a lot. Most, most of it was just getting the right tools all laid out and everything, but very basic. No gotchas at all. Great job, Cognito. And uh, the instructions are simple. Follow the instructions, you won't have a problem. And uh, there it is. Well, we're almost done with our Cognito install. The last thing we have to do here is change out the uh, stock shocks on the passenger side. Put in the new Bilstein 5100s that NorCal recommended. I'd like to thank Jeff from NorCal as well for all the help he gave me in selecting the right kit. And um, we're almost done. Hopefully this was helpful. It's really an easy thing to do. One of the easier things I've done to my truck since I've had it. Um, and I would go for it. Leveling out these trucks is a good thing. And as you can see behind me here, my 285s all waiting to get on here. And you do need to bring the front up a couple inches to get those things to fit underneath the fenders nicely. So I would recommend it. Give Jeff a call out at NorCal and he'll hook you up. Good deal.